Musiaisi ya hawa motongo TV ni na wikwati yukana ni wache wanesa ondumwe na mwithikisi ya wa motongo EFM. Nudho chandini wa kilungu kiki mwanya kila kirele kwa kuni kundi ya Israel United in Christ kana IUIC. Ni kana tunena nisi yetu na unenanya uwe mwana ni mtukwe na kuelewa mwono yolu wa mbae kumina ili siya mbae ya Israeli. Mo anao tuenda huithi ya ni waelewa na hindi. Edhi wawu inekulu yaku wetumea kwa ili tatu kena imwe itano na nitu hithi wa tuisungia ikulu yaku o tuende yete. Aini maitu kuma Israel United in Christ ni mabika na hindi no tuwekea nondu wa kuitha maikuwele wa kithiyomo kiki ito chaki kamba kwa utu hithi wa kuitumea kithiyomo chaki sungu. Na utumea ikulu yaku na kisungu kwa utumani wito mkubi wa ili tatu kenda imwe itano na nitu hithi wa ndivindu wa ikulu yaku hithi wa wa yutuma na kikamba na nitu hithi wa hindi sindu imwe ndi kwa liuli la hila utu hithi wa uyelewa ni kana wethi ni wakwati ya nesan. Now we have to turn now into English so that you may understand. Maybe we start with a bit of introduction. We want to know your names, where you are coming from. Then you tell us more about Israel United in Christ. Maybe we start from the farthest head there. Hello people of Kenya. My name is Zike Marakai. And I'm part of Israel United in Christ. Captain Gad, Shalom. Captain Ina of Israel United in Christ, Shalom. Okay, now maybe Deacon Malachi, you can tell us more about the Israel United in Christ and maybe where you're coming from when you yes, started sir. and what it's all about. Yes, sir. Again, thank you for having us. Appreciate it. Welcome. Uh, I'm Deacon Malachi. Uh, I'm part of an, our, our organized, organized nation that's uh, Israel United in Christ that was uh, established in. Uh, 2003 by Bishop Nathaniel, we are headquarters in New York. Uh, we start very small, and uh, what we believe in, we believe the people here in Kenya is the is is part of the lost tribes of the nation of Israel. We believe the so-called Negroes, the so-called Spanish, and the so-called Native American Indian is Israelite. That we are the real Jews. That we are the one that Moses, God sent Moses in Egypt to deliver out of Egypt. We are the true Jews. That's what we believe. We believe Jesus Christ is a black man who come to deliver the children of who died for us. That's the reason he come in. I know I said a lot right there, right? You look at me like, oh, <laughs> Jesus is black. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, yeah. and by the way, you will tell us more about And by the way, every, everything I said today, I'm going to put it in the Bible. The same Bible, I want, before we start, I want our brothers and sisters that start listening right now, get your Bible, get your pen, Get your paper, and I want you to be with us because I don't want you to say, I make it up. Everything I said today, I'm going to prove it in the Holy Bible that the people here in Kenya, we are part of the lost tribe of the nation of Israel. That's right. Okay, let's come into that. Now, in the Mosiaisia, 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 Ulawe bandi ya Kenya unengani tuwe ni katiba. Now, I come back to you, Mr. Amalkai. Why do you believe that Kenyans or other Africans are Israelites? Okay, when you look at, give me Deuteronomy 32. When you read the Bible, when you look at, we got Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Those are our forefathers. Jacob have 12 sons. God changed his name later on to Israel. He had 12 sons. You got the so-called American black. They are from the tribe of Judah. The so-called uh, Jamaican, they are from the tribe of Benjamin. The so-called Haitian to the Haiti, they are from the tribe of Levi. So now, one thing you're not going to find in the Bible, you're not going to find the word Kenyan in the Bible. You're not going to find that. The question is, before you were for, before you were for Kenyan, what was your name? What was your identity? What was your culture? We lost all our, we lost our identity, we lost our culture, we lost our custom. When did we lose that? And slavery, and I'm going to put that in the Bible. We got God saying, Do that in 32. Do the water. Let's do this. This is how we know your gods are the children of Israel. Read. Do the water me, chapter 32, and verse 26. I said, I would scatter them into corners. God says, He's going to scatter the whole 12 tribes into corners. What that means is, He's going to scatter us all over the world. No matter where you go, you're going to find an Israelite. Read. I would make the remembrance of them to cease. 
from among men. God said, one of the curse, because we break God's laws. One of the curse, God made them remember. It's another word, we're not going to remember who we are. We're, not, we're going to think we're Kenyan. We're going to think we're Haitian. We're going to think we're Jamaican. We're going to think we're African American. We're not going to remember who we are. That's part of the curse. God went against us. For why? For breaking his laws. Read. Verse 27. Were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. Now, jump to verse 28. Chapter 28. Watch this. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28. That's how I know I'm in the right place. Watch this. And verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. This is a prophecy. Before Moses died, and the, when we was in the wilderness of Moses, Moses said, it's going to come to pass. If we don't keep God's laws, what's going to happen? To observe, to do all his commandments. To do all God's laws. And his statutes. To do God's statute, Which I command thee this day. Which God give us in the wilderness to Moses. We, that all these curses. This curse is a good thing or a bad thing? Curse is a bad thing. God says going to bring curses. Why? Read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Because we break God's laws. God sent a curse against us. We're not going to remember who we are. We're going to forget our custom. We're going to even forget our name. Mm. We're even going to worship another God. Mm. Now, I want, you to pay, I want you to listen close what I'm about to say, Kenya. Af Kenya is a black country, right? Mm -hmm. Why are we worshiping a God that don't look like us? Mm. You guys have to think about that? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, my brother. I'm, I'm going to show you think about it. Do you know we are the only people in the planet Earth who wish me that God doesn't look like us? The Chinese really? worship Buddha. Buddha mm -hmm. looks like... The, the Chinese worship Buddha. Buddha is a big fat man. Look like the Chinese, right? Mm -hmm. You got India. They, they so-called... The, uh, the Indian. They worship Krishna. Mm -hmm. Look like them. Then you got... Who else you got? You got Islam. Mm -hmm. They worship who? They worship Allah. Right? Yes. You got uh, you got the white men. They worship what? They worship white Jesus. Right. But we worship white Jesus. Jesus don't look like us. Jesus Christ. The white, the Jesus they give us don't look like us. The question is, what color is Jesus? Mm. So today, I know I'm gonna, I know a lot of people are gonna get mad today. Mm -hmm. After today, Kenyan, you're gonna know the truth. Remember, Jesus said, You shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. Now, can I prove in the Bible? What I just said, the color of Jesus. I know what some of you say right now. It doesn't color doesn't matter. Of course, color matters. If color doesn't matter, why they give you a white guy? But this is the African country. If color doesn't matter, why they give you a white guy? Why they give you a white Jesus? Why? Why? Maybe you tell us. You want me to tell you? Yes. Here in Kenya, they say there's uh, 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 they're superior than us, right? Mm -hmm. They say we are. Uh, Inferior, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Are we really inferior? Mm, no, we are not. Really. Now, let me, let me tell you something, my brother. If they give you a Jesus that looks like you, that's going to change the mindset of our people here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Because when you learn Christ, when you see Christ, what you see. When your son see Christ, what you see. He saw my father. He saw you. So now, they decide to give us a Jesus that doesn't look like us. So now, because of that, we grew up what? Our children grew up with no self-esteem. Our children grow up hating themselves. Mm -hmm. We grow up hating, hating each other. Why? Mm -hmm. Because we worship in a God that doesn't look like us. Give me revelation. Give me revelation. I'm going to prove what I just said. Give the, me revelation. Yes, sir. Revelation. Read verse 1 for me. Chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The word revelation means to reveal. The revealing of Jesus Christ. What it look like. I'm going to prove to you. Me. Which God gave unto him. To him, who, him is who? John the Baptist. Remember, John was Christ Apostle. John was with Christ. Read. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Read on. And he sent and signified it by his angel. I want you to jump to verse 11. Yes, sir. Verse 11. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega. No, read verse 10, actually. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. The Lord's day is a Sabbath day. John said, John was in the island of Patmos. John says in the Lord's Lord Day, which is the Sabbath, which is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That's the Sabbath. We and heard behind me a great voice. Now John heard a voice behind him. What happened? As of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega. The voice said to John, I am Alpha and Omega. That's Christ. We the first and the last. The first and the last, we and what thou seest write in a book. That's very important. 
Jesus Christ told John, whatever you see, I want you to write it in a book. Whatever I'm about to show you, write it in a book. Jump to verse 14. Verse, this is what John saw. Verse 14. His head. John looked at the man's head. And his, and his what? And his hair. And his beard. He looked at the man's head. Now John is about to describe the man that's talking to him. What did he saw? Were white like wool. Who got woolly hair on the earth? The black people got woolly hair on the earth. White people don't have woolly hair. White people don't have woolly hair. You want white to mean people this? have long string hair. You, you ever see sheep? You want to mean these wool? That's woolly hair. You ever see sheep? Hey, you ever see sheep? Sheep hair. You ever see sheep hair? Sheep. Sheep hair is twisted like this. Yes. We got sheep hair. You see how my hair twisted? Yes, I can see. That's woolly hair. White people don't have woolly hair. White people have long string hair. That's the first strike. What does that just prove to you? Jesus Christ got black men hair. Mm. Really? As white. There's really there's much more. Really. As white as snow. So John said he saw all his beard and his and his his beard and his hair all was white. You see how that some of the white in my in my beard in my hair? That's what John saw. But Jesus Christ all was white. All his beard and his hair was white. Read. Really. And his eyes was a flame of fire. So now John look at the man's eyes. His eyes was red. Why? You know why? Jesus Christ. Remember Jesus Christ's Christ, first miracle? He turned water into wine. Yes. When you drink wine, what happened? Inside of the water of you has become red. That's what John saw. Keep on reading. Yes, and, his, and his feet. So now John look at them in feet. What did John saw? Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? is brown. Sure. Brass is brown. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. My, 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 the million dollar question I got for Kenya. Anything you burn on fire, what color become? Black. Jesus Christ is a John Tay. Jesus Christ is a very, very dark skinned man. Just like you, just like me, just like him, just like him. Jesus Christ, my brothers and sisters, is not white. He was never white. Mm -hmm. Give me uh give me second uh, second Corinthians. And now the Jesus who preached. Mm -hmm. Give me that. I'm gonna show you what they did to us. Second Corinthians chapter eleven and verse four. For he that cometh. Preach it another Jesus. Did, did, they, did somebody here come in Kenya and preach another Jesus? Yes, they did. Somebody come here in Kenya and bring a white Jesus. They said that Jesus. And they, they cannot prove it in the Bible. And I challenge. By the way, that's my biggest challenge to Kenyan today. Any Christian today, I challenge you to show me in the Bible that Jesus Christ is, Jesus Christ is white. Mm. That's not in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Maybe I may, if I may ask, yes, uh, was Jesus a Jew? Yes. Are Jews black, white, or red? Oh, you say are Jews black? Let me have a... I got you. Give me that. Give me that. Jeremiah, chapter 14. I'm not sure what color of the Jews is. Chapter 14 and verse 2. That's a good question, by the way. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languished. Remember, Jesus come from the tribe of Judah. That's why they call him the Lion of Judah. Yes. Right? You say, is the Jews black? We. They are black. What color is your Jews? They are black. What color is your Jews? They are black. The Jews are black. Every, as a matter of fact, every single prophet in the Bible were black. Mm. And I can prove that too. Give me Job 30 and 30. Jesus Christ come from what bloodline? King David bloodline, right? Yes. King Solomon was whose son? King Solomon, David. King David's son, right? Yes. What was the color of King Solomon? Give me, you prove give me the that, and you give me Job, Job 30 and 30. Job chapter 30 and verse 30. What was the prophet of the prophet? What was the call of the prophet Job? Read. My skin is black upon me. What does the prophet Job say? My skin is black upon me. The prophet Job was a black man. What is the King Solomon color was? The Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. I am black. What does King Solomon say? I am black. Read. But calmly. King Solomon said, I am black and beautiful. Mm. I am black and beautiful. Maybe Deacon, we come back to Job. <laughs> okay. Maybe Job was talking about uh, his skin turning black and peeling. Was it not because of the sickness? No, what sickness, Job? What sickness? We talk about when uh, Mosai got sent that curse on him? No. Let's, let's, say, let's say he is. But they, what did I just prove about King Solomon? Okay. Now, Christ said, Christ said, if you see me, you see my father. Go, yes. What is what is Christ? What is what is Christ mean by that? If Christ is black, that means God is also black. And I can prove that in the Bible too. 
Give me Daniel 7. Daniel chapter oh, 7. Thought, oh, you thought God was a spirit? Mm -hmm. No. God have a body. God have a body. Christ is black. That means God is also black. King Solomon. Christ come from the blood of King Solomon. So you telling me King Solomon is black. David mm -hmm. is black. But Jesus is white? Mm -hmm. That means no damn sense. Mm -hmm. Read. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. I beheld to the thrones were cast down. All the kingdom were cast down. And the ancient of days did sit. Who's the ancient of day? That's God himself. Why do they call him the ancient of day? Because God have no beginning. He have no end. That's why they call him the ancient of day. And he said, the ancient of day did sit. For you to sit, my brother, you have mm -hmm. to have a what? You have to have a body to sit in a chair. Am I right? So God is not a powerful spirit, like the Christians say. By the way, the Christian is a bunch of liars, and I'm going to prove that too today before I leave. We, Who, whose garment was white as snow. So, Daniel saw God sit down in his throne. He said his garment. For you to have a garment on, don't you have to have a body? God, Daniel said, God wore a garment all white. What does is, what is Daniel saw? And the hair of his head. Now, Daniel, look at God's hair. What did he see? Like the pure wool. He saw a head just like mine. God is not white. God is a black man, just like Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Oh, you can get mad if you want to. It's okay, you're going to be all right. Mm. Uh, maybe uh, where Captain God has read about, um, is it Solomon? Uh, some Tell him what you some, 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 Song some, of uh, Solomon. Some Bible versions uh, say that um, they use the word radi. We Which we means we maybe we uh, the King red. We will only we will only the King James version. Okay. You know why we only read the King James version? Why? Because the the new translation they change certain word on it. Mm -hmm. Because we be, read the King James version. Because even the the Kamba Bible says he was red, not black, using the word red. Because they change it. That's what I keep telling you. Okay. Read over okay. here in Kenya. If you want the real truth, read the King James version. That's the version that they cannot change. Mm -hmm. That's why, that's the, that's the reason now what they start doing. Now they got the American version, they got the, they got the Gideon version, mm -hmm. they got all type of version. Why? Because they try to change things in there. Okay, we can. So we will need the King James version. Next question. I know, listen, I know here in Kenya, by the way, uh, go back, I want to show you something. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. I want to show you guys in some point, Kenya. Uh, read the one that say about uh, the resources. I want to show you. Yes, sir. I've been here. I've been here for a couple of weeks right now, and I see some sad stuff in Kenya. I see young kids that's supposed to be in school, homeless, sleeping on the street, and that thing broke my heart. That thing really broke my heart. And you know why it broke my heart? Yes. Kenya is not a poor country. Kenya have bad government. It's not only Kenya. All over the country of Africa, mm -hmm. Haiti, Jamaica. We have bad government because we have enough resources in Kenya, not only in Kenya, in the whole continent of Africa, where we don't need no outsiders. We can, we can trade with each other because our people is suffering, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you right now, if you're okay with the condition of some of our people in Kenya, something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. I'm not okay with it. I'm not. So Let me I, show you something. Let me show you why. Deuteronomy it's chapter in the Bible. It's in the Bible. I'm going to put that to you. Read, read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 33. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors. What is the fruit of Kenya land? Kenya have what? Oil, yes. gold, diamond, bauxite, mm -hmm. cocoa. What else? What else? Give me some more. Some more uh, food of Kenya. They got, they got, uh, what else they got here? They, in, in other words, oh, oh, oil. Kenya have a lot of resource, right? Yes. Read. Shall a nation which thou knowest not eat is, up. Is Kenyan benefit from the resources of Kenya? No, they don't. It said, the Bible said, another nation outside is going to come here. They're going to rob your guys. You know why they rob your guys? Your guys don't say nothing? Because they say, I'm Jesus. Jesus is mm. white. When your guys look at the woman, you think it's Jesus. Jesus come to rob me. No, <laughs> they're but your thieves. They're but your liars. That's what they are. They come here and rob, steal, rape. And what they say? They say, Jesus love all, oh, Jesus love all of us. Jesus. No, that's not in the Bible. That's not in the Bible. Read. And thou shalt be only oppressed. If people here in Kenya oppressed, hell yes, we oppress. I saw little kids in the street asking for food. 
They got nowhere to sleep. That's some sad stuff. This is my, listen, I know what you're thinking. The, your guys are my brothers. Your guys are my people. Right. We are people. Jacob have 12 sons. Mm -hmm. All of us is part of the 12 sons of Jacob. We are the Israelite. That's right. That thing sad me. Because I know Kenya got resources that our people won't have to suffer. But the outsider come here and they rob us. They, they, they're still everything we got. Finish that. And I'm crushed. Gonna, I'm going to tell you, finish that. And crushed always. You know what? You know what that's called today? Co uh, col colonize. Col yep. We still, you know, you, we, you know, we still colonize. You know that, right? Yes. We still colonize. I know what you guys <laughs> think. Slavery is over. We don't, we don't know. We got, got chin on our neck. We don't yeah. got uh, on our feet. We don't got chin on our neck. No, we still colonize mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because the enemy come here. They're still. This is 2024. We still getting robbed mm. by the enemy. Mm -hmm. The problem here in Kenya. Where's the camera? Your guys think you have no enemy. Oh yeah, we got enemies. God tell you we got enemies. Verse 49 or 48? Verse 48. Mm -hmm. God right. said we in Kenya, we got enemies. We. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. What God said about Kenya? Thou shalt serve thine enemies. Mm. Which, which, which the Lord shall send against thee. Why God send them against us? Because we break God's laws. God sent a nation against us that none of us know. Not only that, God said against us. Now they come here, they give us their own religion. They give us their own God. We, in hunger. In hunger. You need food. Who own the biggest grocery in Kenya? Is it Kenyan? No. No. Who control the food resource in Kenya? Is it Kenyan? And guess what? We got land here in Kenya where we can grow our own food. We can feed our own people. We don't need America to send us no damn money for food. We don't need the other nation, Europe, to send us food. We got land here. We can feed our own people. But no. The enemy control the food industry. Mm. Read. And in thirst. Water. Here in Kenya. This water come from Kenya. You know what the enemy did? He put it, he took it in a bottle, he sent it to you. Mm. You buy your own water, my brother. That's your water. They sell you on water. Mm. That's a curse. Read. And in nakedness. In what? In nakedness. Who control the clothing industry? That clothes we wear. The texture. Yes. Let's say they make this clothes in Kenya. But what about the texture? Where they come from? Does Kenyan control it? No. The enemy control it. What did I just prove? I just proved to you we are the children of Israel. That's what I'm proving to you. Here in Kenya, guess what? It's not only in Kenya. I go to Haiti, same thing. I travel to Jamaica, same thing. I travel to Ghana, same thing. I travel to Uganda, same thing. Mm -hmm. I was in South Africa, same thing. Sierra Leone, Liberia, same thing. You know why? All of all these countries I just named, all these are people. Mm. Wherever we are, we are in, 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 uh, oppressed. Oppressed. We are oppressed. Did Jesus Christ say, talk about that? Absolutely, Jesus Christ talked about that. In the book of Revelation, Jesus Christ talked about that. Give me Revelation chapter 2. Jesus Christ talked about that. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. Really? I know thy works and tribulation. If people here in Kenya and tribulation, if people in Haiti in tribulation, if people in the America in tribulation, no matter where our people are, we are in tribulation. We. And poverty. Are we in poverty? Yes, we're in poverty. I see it with my own eyes. No matter where I travel. And I know what you guys are thinking right now, Kenyan thing. Because I come from America, I'm not in poverty. Mm. Oh, au contraire, mon frère. You're mistaken. No matter where our people go, no matter where we are, we are in poverty. You want to know why? Because we break God's laws. We cannot skip the curse of God. We, we but, thought we can, but we can't. We, but thou art rich. Why God say we are rich? Because the kingdom of heaven is only for us. That's right. And, oh, you didn't know that? Oh, by the way, there ain't going to be no white people in the kingdom of heaven. Uh -oh. That's right. Oh, no, I know, I'm, I know I'm, I'm making a lot of you men right now. And I'm going to prove that in the Bible. You want to mean the kingdom of heaven? Yes. The blacks. Yes. It's Africans. That's what I said. Why? Oh, I didn't say, I didn't, listen, I didn't write the Bible. I'm going to put that in the Bible. We And I know the blasphemy of them would say. I want you to pay attention to this part, what Jesus said. This is Jesus speaking. Jesus said, we are rich. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is for us. Jesus said, I know the blasphemy of them would say what? Would say they are Jews. <laughs> Who in the earth today say they are Jews? Is it black people? Who what? in the earth today say they are Jewish? Is it us? No. The people over there in Israel, those white people say they are Jewish, right? 
What Jesus say about them? And are not. What Jesus say? And are not. Jesus said they are not the real Jews. But what Jesus call them? Are the synagogue of Satan. Oh boy, I know this is gonna piss a lot of people off. Jesus Christ called the white people over there in Israel say they are the real Jews. Jesus Christ called them the synagogue of Satan. Jesus Christ said they are the devil that they speak of. They stole our identity. They stole our land. Mm. They stole our culture. Well, now there's a war going on right now. What is the war? Israel with Hamas. Mm -hmm. Guess what? The land they belong to none of them. Mm. Guess what? Why don't you guess who they land belong to? Maybe, Go ahead, guess. Maybe I ask you a question. Uh, here in Kenya, when we are doing history, we are taught that we, we came from Zaire. That is now the, the Congo, Brazzaville. So now tell us. You are telling us that uh, we belong to Israel. Israel is our land. How did we get me, to Kenya? Me, Matthew, I did not come but for the children of Israel. Give me that. Now, where is Israel? When you look at the map, where is Israel? <laughs> uh, it's just close to Africa, maybe. Israel is in Africa. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's not in Africa. <laughs> oh, no? <laughs> Israel is in Africa. You got a map? Look at a map. Okay, when God sent Moses to deliver us out of Egypt, how did we, we go to from cross Egypt the... to Israel? Did we walk? No, yes. Yes, we had to cross the, the Red Sea. Yes, we walk. Yeah, we stay the West, we walk. Then that doesn't mean it's in Africa. Yes, it is in Africa. We are divided by the Red, the Red Sea. My brother, <laughs> Israel is in Africa. Uh -huh. There is no such a thing as Middle East. The word Middle East, it's something they made up. That's mm -hmm. not... That's not exist. Mm -hmm. They just make that up. Israel is in Africa. Mm. And guess what? Yes. I'm going to tell you something sharp. Africa do not produce white people. <laughs> they do not? No. Oh, oh you <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you, you give us that first. Go ahead, read. Matthew. Oh, I, listen, I know a lot of people is mad right now. It's okay. You're going to be all right. Read. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Wait a minute. I thought Jesus Christ died for everybody. I am not sent. What Jesus Christ said? I am not sent. Who's, hey, who said Jesus Christ? Most I God, right? Yes. Jesus Christ said, I was only sent to who? For what? Unto the lost sheep. Mm -hmm. Who's the lost sheep? Who's the lost sheep? We are the lost sheep. We are lost. What are we lost? We lost our identity. We lost our culture. We lost who we are. We lost our name. We mm -hmm. lost everything. When did we lose everything? In slavery. Mm -hmm. They robbed us of everything. We are the lost sheep. We. Of the house of Israel. What did Jesus say? Jesus said, I only come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I know mm -hmm. what you say right now. What about everybody else? What about the Chinese? What about the Arab? What about the white men? What's going to happen to them? You want me to show you? Yes. Revelation 13. Oh, listen. Listen. I know this gospel. You never heard this gospel today. You never heard this gospel before today. I'm going to shut all of you before I get out of here today. I'm going to show you. Today I come to give you the true gospel. The gospel that you pastor will never give you. Revelation 13. Revelation. This, this is what's going to happen to everybody else when Christ comes back. I know a lot of you thinking Christ is coming back to help people to kiss. No. The black Messiah, the Jesus Christ that's in the Bible, is coming to kill. Kill who? Oh, 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 I love, I love you. <laughs> I love you, question boy. I love you, question. <laughs> Revelation. Chapter I'm going to show you why. why I'm going to show you why Christ is coming back. Yes. Read. Chapter thirteen, and verse nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Jesus Christ said, "If you have an ear, I want you to hear this." Read. He that leadeth into captivity, who lead, who lead the Kenyan to slavery? Who? Who? Was it Kenyan? No. No. It was the Arab and the white man. Am I right? Sure. Read. What's going to happen? Shall go into captivity. Jesus said, the same one who lead the Kenyan to slavery, they're going to go to slavery. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't get mad at me. Get mad at Jesus Christ. Get mad at the Bible. I didn't write the Bible. Mm. Read. I'm just reading the Bible. Read. He that killeth with the sword. Did they kill the Kenyan with the sword? Yes, yes they did. Must be killed. No, maybe. Must be killed with the sword. Jesus Christ said the same thing they did to us. He's going to do it. Listen, we serve a righteous God, my brother. God is a righteous mm -hmm. God. So, I want you guys to think. You actually think. Mm -hmm. Everything that these people done to us, you think God is going to let them get away with it? Mm. 
maybe that I ask a, maybe I ask a question. Um, when we believe, are we not united in Christ? Maybe you go to Galatians three twenty eight. Oh, that's where you want to go? Yes. That's maybe oh, you you, 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 tell, you you tell us about that verse. Maybe. And then we're going to go Galatians back to three what we have in twenty eight. Twenty eight and twenty nine. You want to take that? Yeah. You yeah, okay. Yeah, go ahead. You take that. Yeah. Dive that thing. Read it for us. Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. Yes. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. Mm -hmm. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Now, let me ask you a question. Yes. We hear this scripture. You know, I don't think you understand how often we hear this scripture right here. Mm -hmm. Why did it say Greek and not all nations? Why did it just specify Greek? Maybe you tell us. I, I definitely will. You what, what what a lot of what you Christians in Kenya don't understand is you don't you don't have the history that's written about the Greek captivity, right? right? When Christ was walking, who was in rulership at that time? I'm asking the, you. The Jews. The, no, the no, 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 no. Who was ruling? Rome was ruling at the time. Yes. And then when we get to Galatians, they're speaking about the Greeks. Mm -hmm. You should ask yourself. Where do I find the history of the Greeks in the Bible? Mm -hmm. Where do I find that, that history at? A lot of times, our people, our, you people don't know it. Our people, we don't know. But I'm going to show you in the Bible why it says Greek. Maybe, no Greek. maybe you go to verse 29. Hold on. Hold on. Just, just, read verse 29. Second, I, I got you. Okay. Watch this. Read. What you want? Second Maccabees 6 and 6. Second Maccabees chapter 6 and verse 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days... Uh -huh. Or ancient feasts, uh -huh. or pro or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Now listen, Second Maccabees is during the Greek captivity, right? Mm -hmm. When the Greeks were ruling, it was. It says, read that again. Neither was it what? Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days. So it was unlawful for the Israelites to keep Sabbath days or. Read Ancient feasts. Or Passover, tabernacles, our ancient feasts, read. Or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So you couldn't even call yourself a Jew. Mm -hmm. If I can't call myself a Jew, what am I going to call myself? Mm. A Greek. Because that's where you were living in, uh, at. Just like mm -hmm. us in America. We call ourselves Americans, but we're Israelites. Just like you in Kenya. Mm -hmm. You call yourself a what? A Kenyan. A Kenya. But guess what? You're Israelites. Mm -hmm. Back then, we, were, we couldn't say that we were Jews. It was against the law to call yourself a Jew. Mm -hmm. So what do we call ourselves? Greeks. Keep reading. Verse 8. Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighbor cities of the heathen uh -huh. by the suggestion of Ptolemy uh -huh. against the Jews. Against who? Against the Jews. Against the true Jews, read. That they should observe the same fashions uh -huh. and be partakers of their sacrifices. So we had to do what they were doing, follow their customs. We were forced to follow Greekish customs, just like we're forced today to follow these other customs. Our people do, actually now our people do it willingly. Our people celebrate Christmas willingly. Christmas isn't in the Bible. These things aren't in the Bible. And guess what? In the Greek time, if you tried to keep the Sabbath day, let me show you what, what would happen to you. Keep reading. Verse 9. Whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles. Meaning if you did not keep those ways, if you did not, uh, uh, if you tried to keep the Sabbath, if you tried to call yourself a Jew, what would happen? Should be put to death. They were killed. So this is the Greek captivity that's written in the Bible. This is the Bible. So guess what? When you get back to go, let's go back to Galatians 3.28. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 28. Three. There's neither Jew nor Greek. Uh, there's neither Jew nor Greek. Who were called Greek? Mm. Who were called the Greeks? Was it actual, was it the white man, the so-called white man? Mm -hmm. Or who, else, who was it? Tell us. Okay, I'll show you. Give me James 1. Maybe. I want us to go to verse 29. We will, we will. Okay, I okay. okay. I will, but, but remember, <laughs> matter of fact, give me De Deuteronomy 4.27. Because we just read that the Jews were forced to, to be called uh, Greek, or forced to, be, uh, to leave their nationality. Okay. You couldn't call yourself a Jew at all. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 27. Read. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. Among where? Among the nations. So you were, we were scattered among the nations. We just read about the Greek history showing you that we were scattered in where? In Greece. That was one of the places. So guess what? If we're there, what would we call ourselves? We would call ourselves Greek. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, go back. We were scattered all over. So when he said there's neither Jew nor Greek, that Greek is talking to the lost sheep. We just read in Matthew 15, 24, mm -hmm. what Christ said, he come for who? 
the lost sheep of the house of Israel. If you call yourself a Kenyan today, you are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's mm -hmm. right. You have to understand that we were scattered. So when you read Juno Greek, don't get caught up and think, oh, oh this is this is everybody now. Mm -hmm. No, you have to know the history. If you don't know the history, then you're just spewing rhetoric that somebody told you. Mm -hmm. you go back and read that. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 28. There's neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. Uh -huh. There's neither male nor female. Uh -huh. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Keep reading. Watch this. And if you be Christ, uh -huh. then you are Abraham's seed. <laughs> read. And heirs according to the promise. Now this is beautiful right here. What, what does that mean? I'm, if I'm you gonna get show saved, you. He's gonna, he's gonna I'm going to show you. Be, you are turned to Abraham's seed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to show you what Watch this. Got Let's go to so Jesus. does that mean maybe the whites are not? No. Uh, Abraham's what? seed. We're going to show you. Even if they you. get saved. I'm going to show you. Okay. Go to Genesis 17. Yes, sir. Give me verse 19. Genesis chapter 17 and verse 19. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. And Actually, I'll, jump up. Uh, verse 7. Uh, give me. Oh, this is fine. Yeah. No, this is fine. Watch this. Read verse 19. Verse 19. And God said, Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed. Uh-huh. So this is talking about Abraham and his wife, right? Read. And shall call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him. Establish the covenant with Isaac, right? Read. For an everlasting covenant. For what? For an everlasting covenant. That's an everlasting covenant. Now, remember, Isaac had Jacob, and then Jacob had what? The 12 sons, which are today the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. The covenant was established with him. Right? Through Abraham, right? Keep reading. And with his seed after him. Didn't we just read that in Galatians 3? And with his seed after him, read. And as far as for Ishmael. Uh-huh, which would be the so-called Arabs today, read. I have heard thee. Uh-huh. Behold, I have blessed him. Uh-huh. And will make him fruitful. And will multiply him exceedingly. Multiply him exceedingly, read. Twelve persons shall he beget. Uh-huh. And I will make him a great nation. They make him a great nation. But watch this. Keep reading. But my covenant. But my what? But my covenant. Read. Will I establish with Isaac. With who? With Isaac. It said the covenant that you just quoted in Galatians 3.29. That mm -hmm. covenant was established with who? Isaac. Mm -hmm. Nobody else. Just the chosen people of God, the Israelites. That's Do you true. understand? Mm -hmm. It wasn't for everybody. It never <laughs> was for everybody. Okay, maybe now you tell us, are all Africans Israelites? Uh -huh. Say that again? Are all Africans Israelites? Well, remember earlier we read in uh, uh, Deuteronomy mm -hmm. about this, the, the, how we were scattered, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. when, when the so-called white men come in the continent of Africa to buy slaves, to buy us, right? Yes. It was who sold us to the white man? It was the African and the Arab. Hey, anybody got a Bible dictionary? I want to show you something. Because mm -hmm. remember, remember, you say Africa. You say Africans. Now, there's a difference. Mm -hmm. What I'm about to say right now, I'm going to shock you. There's a difference between the we're African mm -hmm. and Kenya. Uh oh. What is the difference? Africa, difference. Kenyans are Africans. Now, you ever heard of. Okay, remember the flood? Where. Most I got killed back in the earth. Mm -hmm. There was only eight people saved to the flood. It was what? Noah, mm -hmm. Ham, Shem. No, uh, it was Noah and his three sons. His yes. three sons was Ham, Shem, and Japheth. And sure. there was, right? That was eight of them, right? Mm -hmm. Now, everybody in the earth populated by those three sons. Yes. Right? We, we, we here in Kenya, we not come from Ham. We come from Shem. We are Shemetic. There's a big difference. Ham is the father of the African. Him is not the father of all black. All black people is not the same. That's what I'm going to, I'm going to prove that to you. Prove all black people is not, is not the same. Yes. So now, I want to read something to you. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Uh, see if you can get that to me. I'm going to read something to you. I'm going to read in the Bible dictionary. Mm -hmm. By the way, this dictionary I'm about to read, it was not written by our people. Some so whoever write this dictionary, they know something that mm -hmm. we do not know. I'm going to show you something. You okay. Ham, watch this. Ham, because you ask, is all African are uh, Israel? The answer is no. I'm going to put that in the Bible. Ham. 
This is the Compact Bible Dictionary. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. Ham was the youngest son of Noah. Ham was born 96 years before the flood. The flood that killed everybody. We oui. and one of the eight persons. One of the eight persons to survive the flood. Who is the eight person? Noah, his wife. That's two. Ham, Shem, and Japheth plus their wife. That's make eight people. They're the only eight to survive the flood. We oui. to live through the flood. Uh huh. He became the progenitor. The progenitor means the father. Him become the father <laughs> of who? Of the dark races. You might say him. Everybody that's dark, that's black, is is the son of him. No, keep on reading. Not the Negroes. What did they call us in America? The Negroes. The Negroes. Ham is not the father of the Negroes. Mm -hmm. Ham is not the father of the Kenyan. That's what that say. I'm going to prove it more. We. Oui. But the Egyptians. So Ham is the father of the Egyptian. They are Africans. We. Oui. Ethiopians. They are Ethiopian. Ham is the father of the Ethiopian. They are Africans. Libyans. The Libyan. They are Africans. And Canaanites. And Canaanites. Remember. Mm -hmm. Remember now. The continent of Africa, before it was called Africa, what was the name of it? The land of Canaan. That's the land of Canaan. That was what it was called, yes. That was what it was called. Now, <laughs> the name Africa, where does that name come from? Where does it come from? The name Africa is named after Leo, Leo. Leo Africanus. Mm -hmm. That Meaning? The, one, the white man who conquered the continent and he named the continent after himself. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can Google it if you want to. It was called Leo Africanus. Scipio. It's, it's after it's, it's Scipio. Leo Scipio Africanus. Leo Scipio Africanus. Mm -hmm. He changed the name of the continent. He gave it his name Africa mm -hmm. after himself. That's why I showed earlier, I don't know if you remember, mm -hmm. I said before he was called Kenyan, what was the name of this continent before he was called Kenyan? You understand? God do not know you as Kenyan. God know you as the Israelite. God mm -hmm. know you as Judah. Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Simeon, Zebulun, Naphtali, God. Mm -hmm. Those are the names God gives us. Those names they put on us, when did they put those names on us? Colonizers, when they colonize us, they change our name. Those are the names they put on us. Those names those name you hear you got today, those are not the names God gives you. Mm -hmm. And you remember, also, I want to say this. Society tell you the country you born, that's who you are. That's not true. That's not according to the Bible. You are what your father are. If you born in Kenya, you say, I'm Kenyan. That's not in the Bible. That makes no sense. You want to know why that makes no sense? But I'm born in Kenya. Let's say, yeah, but I'm going to show that makes no sense. Okay. <laughs> Let's say you and your wife move to Haiti. You have a kid in Haiti. What is the kid? <laughs> <laughs> what is the kid? <laughs> it's what a Kenyan. A Kenyan. How is you the kid? Both of you us even all of us are Kenyan. Uh, oh, <laughs> that is Kenyan blood. You see the confusion? You see the confusion? Uh, let's say, yes. right now, let's say I decide to move here with my wife. I have a baby here. Is he Kenyan? No. If you are not Kenyan, Kenyan, that is, is not a Kenyan. Kenyan. Where is that Kenyan? He was born in the land of Kenyan. Where is that Kenyan? He was born in the land of Kenyan. Where is that Kenyan? The blood is not Kenyan. Mm. <laughs> Watch me, the blood is not Kenyan. He was born in Kenya. Then you just said, if you were in Kenya, you are Kenyan. Then you just said that, right? right. <laughs> what do you have to do with the blood? Then you just said that. Let me request for questions from our viewers. <laughs> Maybe but, uh, I want to I want to jump back on one thing, right? Because I want to deal with the, the um, I want to make it more clear to you, yes. so you understand who Christ came for. Go to Romans nine, please. Read Romans nine. Read Romans nine. Start at verse three. Romans. Because when you get to the, the, uh, the, the covenant and things like that, I want you to understand who it's for. Mm -hmm. Biblically, right? We're going by the Bible. This is Romans 9, New Testament. Read. Romans chapter 9 and verse 3. Uh -huh. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ. For my brethren. So Paul says, for my, I wish I could be accursed from Christ for my brethren. Now, why would Paul say brethren? Because he's an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. When you read Romans 11 and 1, you read about his, the tribe that he's from. Right? So he's talking about his people, his brothers. Read. My kinsmen, uh -huh. according to the flesh. According to the flesh. Mm -hmm. According to the flesh. So there is no spiritual Israelites. He's talking about to, according to the flesh. Read. Who are Israelites? Who are who? Israelites. Read. 
to whom pertaineth to whom belongs the adoption the adoption and the glory and the glory and the covenants and the covenants who they belong to the Israelites read and the giving of the law and the law was given to the Israelites Christ died on the cross was for the Israelites read and the service of God uh -huh. and the promises and the, pro the promises that we read in Genesis 17 it pertains to the Israelites read mm -hmm. whose are the fathers uh -huh. and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came, he came for them. <laughs> Read who is okay. all, who is over all. God blessed forever. Amen. You see that? Okay. He's talking about. Oh. It's telling you. Okay. Let us go to John three sixteen mm -hmm. to oh, eighteen. <laughs> John 316 to 18. Yes. Watch this. He just quote. Yes. Everywhere you shall go to, they always show John Yep. Every Christian. They always go to John Bring it out. So, you go to Genesis 16, right? Yes, fact, we go there and then you tell us start, what will happen to the okay, other people, okay, maybe. Yes, I'm going to start at verse 1. Read verse 1. John chapter see, 3. Christian never start at verse 1. They always start at verse 1. John 3 verse 16. Oh, every time. Watch, watch this. I'm going to show something. Read verse 1. John chapter 3 verse 1. Read. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Nicodemus was a ruler of the Jews. Not a ruler. Nicodemus was an Israelite. A ruler of the Jews. Mm -hmm. He was an Israelite. Read. The same came to Jesus by night. He came to Jesus by night because he believed in Jesus. Why he come to Jesus by night? He come by night because if the other Pharisees see him, they're going to kick him out of the synagogue. So he come by night where nobody can see him. Read. And said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. Now I want you to take, think about this. Jesus Christ is talking to another Jew. Two Jews is talking. Two Jews is talking. Right? Two men talking. Is that me and you talking right now? Two Jews. Two Israelites. Just how we talking right now. Read. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. So uh, Nicodemus said, Christ, no man can do the miracle you did except God be with him. So again, don't forget the thought. Two men is talking. Two Israelites is talking. Mm -hmm. Now go to verse 14. Sir. I'm going to show you something. Verse 14. This is what, this is what I'm telling you. The Christian church is the worst thing that ever happened to the black people. Mm. And I say, yes. Where's the camera? I said it. The Christian church is the worst thing. Christianity is the worst thing that ever happened to black people. Mm -hmm. Because of the church, this is why we're in the condition we're in today. Because the pastors, they refuse to teach you the true Bible. They refuse to tell you, hold on. Yes. The, the pastors, what they're doing is they're robbing the people. Mm. You guys need, should leave those church because God never give you Christianity. God never give you Catholicism. God never give you Islam. God never give you Seven Adventists. God never give you New Pentecost. What is what other religion you got here in Kenya? God never give you the religion. God give you law. Statue and commandment. That's what God gives you. God never gives you religion. Religion was created by men to rob you. You got you got the pastor living in a big big house, driving big car, but you got a single mother who can even feed her kids, mm. and she can even go to to the pastor after the pastor falls down. Those pastors they are a bunch of thieves. Pastor got a job. Stop stealing the people money mm. and stop lying. Today I'm going to show you a bunch of lies. Read <laughs> verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. So, Jesus tell Nicodemus, the same way Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. What Jesus is talking about? Where did Jesus get that from? I'm going to show you what Jesus was talking about. <laughs> Go to the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. You see, don't ever let nobody, next time somebody talk about Genesis 16, tell them do not stand in your city. Start at, just, just, start at verse 14. Mm -hmm. Jesus tell Nicodemus, the same way Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, who was in the wilderness with Moses? Was it the whole world? No. Who? The yeah, Israelites. Right. Thank you. We Numbers yeah. chapter 21 and verse what, 6. This is what Jesus is talking about. Verse 6. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people. We and sin. Who was in the wilderness? We sent. God sent serpents, snake. The snake start biting us. Bite us. And we start dying. What is God did? And they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. No, much people of the Chinese. People of Israel no, died. No, much people of the, the whole world. People of Israel died. Read. Verse 8. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent. What God said to Moses? Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass, that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. 
God, as the serpent by the people, people die. God told Moses, the people are, go repent. They go to Moses and say, pray for us that we not die. So God mm -hmm. told Moses, I want you to make a serpent, put it on a pole, and put it up. That serpent represents Christ because that serpent represents healing. You ever go to the hospital, you saw a stick with two snakes like this? Yes, yes, I do. That's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. You know what that represents? It represents healing. Mm -hmm. That's what Moses made. Who was, who did, who, when God told Moses to make this, who was looking at, who God said to Moses to make it for? The Israelites. The Israelites. The whole world was not with Moses. That's what mm -hmm. Jesus is talking about. That's what Jesus said. Read that verse 14 again. Mm -hmm. John chapter 3, verse 14. This is what Jesus said. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Did we just read that? Did we just read that? That's what Christ talked about. Mm -hmm. Christ said the same way Moses lifted up the, the serpent in the wilderness. Even as we are looking at it, read. Even so, the same way must the Son of Man be lifted up. What Jesus Christ is telling you? Jesus Christ is telling you, when Moses lifted up the serpent, that was me. That would represent mm -hmm. me. I bring healing to the nation of Israel. Jesus said the same way. If you if the Israel are looking at me, they're gonna be healed. Read. That whosoever believes whosoever here is not everybody, is the Israelite. In the wilderness, was the whole world with Moses? No, it was the Israelite. The whosoever here is the Israelite. And I'm gonna prove that. And I'm gonna prove that it's the Israelite. When he said, whosoever, everybody said, oh my God, is everybody? No, it's not. You have to know the content. You have to know what Christ is talking about. That's why I start at verse 14. That's why mm -hmm. I start at verse 1. Remember, mm -hmm. keep the thought. Two men talking. Two Jews is talking. Mm -hmm. Two Israelites. Nicodemus is a Jew. Christ is a Jew. Mm -hmm. Two Jews is talking. Keep that in mind. We have okay. a conversation. So John 2, 16 is not everybody. It's talking about the, when he said, whosoever is the Israelite. It's not everybody. The Israelite. That's what he's talking about. Hey, put that. Put that. Read that right quick. Acts chapter 2 and verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever they go again. shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Uh -huh. Ye men of Israel. No, the whole world. Ye men of Israel. The whosoever here is the Israelite. <laughs> <laughs> the Israelite. Okay. Now, answer my question. What will happen to the other people? Oh, I'm glad you come back. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Give me Isaiah 14. Uh oh. Sir. I'm glad you come back to that. Oh, after I read this, you're going to be shocked. <laughs> oh, yeah. And oh, also, maybe shocked. we have so many tribes in, uh, yes, in Africa. Yes. In Kenya, we have around 45. I'm going so to show you. Why are you talking about 12? I'm going to show you. Uh -huh. I will start with the 12 tribe of Israel. What's okay. going to happen to that nation when Jesus Christ Maybe comes we back. do it quickly. We are yes, running out of when time. When Jesus Christ comes back. Okay. We, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord. By the way. I'm going to, I can, this is the Old Testament. After that, I'm going to prove it in the New Testament too. Right. We, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. God is going to have mercy on Jacob. Jacob have to have sons. Jacob named to, to, Jacob named church to Israel. We are the to have sons. That's right. He said God is going to choose Israel again. God's going to choose us again. Why? Because of the promise made to our forefather Abraham. I said, Jacob, remember you with it earlier? The covenant? That's why we're going to be chosen again. We. And set them in their own land. God says he's going to set us on our own land. What is that saying? Kenya is not our land. Jerusalem is our land. Mm -hmm. That's the land God promised to our forefather Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God is going to, Jesus Christ, when he comes back, he's going to take us back to that land. That's our land. We. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The other nation is going to be joined with us. What are we going to, what's going to happen to the other nation? And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. We. And the people shall take them. We're going to take them. We're going to take that nation. Listen to what, listen to what we're going to do with them. And bring them to their place. Uh -huh. And the house of Israel shall possess them. What happens if you possess something? That if you possess, we belong to what? We belong to you, right? Yes. We're gonna possess that nation to the one. Mm -hmm. Shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants. Wait, they're gonna be what? For servants. The other nation gonna be what to us? Servants. And what else? And handmaids. The other nation gonna be a servant. Any people outside of the church of Israel, mm -hmm. they're gonna be a servant. Today we are, we serve, today we are their servant. Guess what? They're going to be our servant. That's what the Bible says. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at the Bible. They're going to be our servant. You actually, we, again, again. Yes. Brother, thank, thank. You actually believe mm -hmm. God is not going to bring judgment to everything that these people do to Kenyan? You think God's not going to bring judgment to them? God is not a righteous God then. Mm -hmm. We're serving a righteous God. We're serving a righteous God. Whatever they did to you guys, to our people here, God is going to bring it back to themselves. They're going to pay back for what they did to us. Mm. All the slavery, all the killing, all the murder, all the robbing. You actually think they're not going to pay? Oh, they're going to mm -hmm. pay. 
And listen, nobody's getting away. Mm. That's right. Nobody's getting away. Don't Even finish. those who believe from those countries. Nobody's getting away. Give me poison. No hand go hand in hand. Give me that. Give me that. Nobody's getting away. God is a righteous God, my brother. God is a righteous God. And, and listen, there's no such thing as, oh, oh, we are the child of God. Oh, it doesn't matter what color he is. No, it is matter. It is matter. Hey, who is the greatest revolution here in Kenya? Give me one name. I know we got many, but give me one. Maybe you tell me the one you know. No, no, no. no. Give me, oh, okay. Kenya take, the, Kenya take the independence from the British, right? Yes. What year was that? Who will fight for that? In other words, what I'm saying, who will fight for that? They said there's a lot of them who fight for that, right? Mm -hmm. Give yes. me one name. You don't know one name? The people who fought for inde yeah. independence. Yeah. yeah. We have Denan Kimanthi and. Uh, you and have Denan, what's the name of him? Denan Kimanthi. What color was he? He was black. No, he was white. <laughs> Denan oh, Kimanthi. <laughs> now you see color does matter, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but he was a Kikuyu. He was what? A Kikuyu. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are running out of time and you want, I want you to answer my question. Hey, hey, are, we all go, are we all going to heaven? Are we all going to heaven? Yes. I just went or is it for Africans only? Give me the gate. Give me the gate. Okay. <laughs> Revelations. I'm going to start a little down. Revelations chapter 7 and verse 4. And I heard the number of them. 21. 21. Revelation 21. You say who's going to heaven? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's see. Hey, earlier when I remember I said earlier there's not gonna be no white people in heaven. Uh -oh. oh I know I know all the Christian I know everybody in the Kenya man. <laughs> I know all the Christian. People say, Oh, are you saying their slave master's not gonna be in heaven? No! Their slave master is not going to heaven. Uh -huh. Their slave master is going to slavery. Yeah, That's also, what they slave master. The oppressor is going to slavery. And he also said there's 40 some tribes, right? Yes. You, said, you asked, why are we talking about 12, right? Yes. There you go. Revelation, Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. And had a wall great and high, and had 12 gates. Now, he said, in the heaven, there is 12 gates. Let's see who those 12 gates are for. 12 gates, right? Read. And at the gates, 12 angels. 12 angels standing at those gates. Read. And names written thereon. What was the name that was in those 12 gates? Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Uh-oh, we got a problem. We have a big mm -hmm. problem here in Kenya. It said, at the gate of heaven, there was 12 gates. Yes. The name of those that was in those gates were the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. We on the east three gates. East three gate. On the north three gates. The north three gate. On the south three gates. South three gate. And on, the, and on the west three gates. West three gate. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations. Twelve foundations. Read. Right? And in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. These twelve apostles was what? The twelve apostles was Israelite, don't wasn't it? They were Jews, right? Mm -hmm. He said the twelve foundations have the twelve names of their twelve apostles. So that's answer your question? You say is everybody gonna be in heaven? No. <laughs> you want hand in hand still? Yes, give me that. Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 21. <laughs> Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Oh, read that again for the Christian in Kenya. <laughs> Though <laughs> hand. Because I know that Christian in Kenya, you all love white people. This, hey, some of you married to them. Mm. Listen to what God said. Read that again. Though hand join in hand. Why that? We got to care if you marry them, you have kids by them. We. The wicked, the wicked, the white man, the wicked, yes, you the wicked, shall not be unpunished. Nobody's getting away. But they're not, they are not all wicked. Nobody's mm. getting away. Oh, yeah? Give me Ma Malachi. They're not all wicked. <laughs> Who said that? You are God. Let me see what God said. Oh. Oh. Malachi. Let me see what God said. Malachi chapter 1 and verse 2. Did God say that no wicked? Let me see what. Who I'm going to believe? I'm going to believe you or God? Let me see what God said. Read. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, Wherein has thou loved us? So God said, he loved us here in Kenya. So we said, God, how do you love us? We're in poverty. We're in the bottom. We poor. We cannot feed our children. But listen to what God said. Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord? God said, was not Esau Jacob's brother. Who is Esau today? Esau is Edom. Esau mm -hmm. is the so-called white people today. That's who Esau is. That's the father of Esau. When you go to Genesis chapter 25, Read. Yet I loved Jacob 
God say he love Jacob. Who is Jacob today? We are Jacob. God say he love us. Mm -hmm. Jacob have 12 sons. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. God say he love us. But what God say about Esau? And I hated Esau. Wait a minute. I thought God don't hate. God say he hate Esau. Who is Esau? Esau is the so-called white people today. God say he hate them. Mm -hmm. Why God say? Why God hate them? We. And let his mouths and his heritage waste. We. For the dragons of the wilderness. No, you said some of them is good, right? Keep on reading. Whereas Edom saith. Esau said. We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Mm -hmm. Thus said the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. God says they're going to destroy. We. And they shall call them the boys. God said they're going to call them. 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 Is it one? Is it two? All of them. What God said they want to call them? The border of wickedness. God said they are the wicked people. God said no matter. God said anywhere you see white people, we're going to see wickedness. God said they are the wicked. The uh, wicked. <laughs> listen, nobody's getting away. Okay, okay. Uh, finish, finish, uh, finish. We gotta finish it. Yes, finish. finish. And finish. the no, he's in a hurry. Finish one. And the people. And the what? The people. The what? The people. No, some of them is good. The people. No, some of them is righteous. The people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. God say you have indignation against them forever. You know what? Oh. what it, hey, what is what indignation mean? Hatred. Mm -hmm. Hatred. God say you have hatred for them forever. <laughs> That's not my word. You want to get mad? Where's where's the camera? You want to yeah. get mad? Get mad at the Bible. See, uh, you got an email. Uh, Deacon uh, Malachi, we are out of time. I just want to hear your last oh, words uh, and answer this question. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Of course, I believe in Jesus Christ. Then are you, you a Christian? Jesus Christ the whole show? Then are yeah. you a Christian? No. Who is a Christian? No, we are we are Israelite. Israelites. God never gave us religion. Do Christian uh, Israelites believe in Christ? Yes, we do. Then are they not Christians? No, we do. We do believe in Christ. Who is a Christian? Uh, we do, we, you want me to spoke to you? We do believe in Christ. Give me, uh, <laughs> okay, maybe your last word. We are out of time. Last one, last one. <laughs> yes. Luke, Luke chapter one, verse quick. We do believe in Christ. I found, you see, what? we call Israel not in Christ. Our foundation is Christ. Christ is our foundation. Christ is supposed to be your foundation. The, uh, then foundation now, Christ. you are telling us to move out of church. Where should uh, we yeah. go? We Where should we go? The law. Come, start keeping the law. You an Israelite. Are we not supposed to meet somewhere? Maybe we worship? Yes, we do. It's called the congregation. But we that do. is why we... we... To keep. You're not supposed to go to church. You're supposed to keep the Sabbath. The Sabbath is sundown, Friday to Saturday sundown. That's what we do. We keep the Sabbath. We come together. We read the Bible. We, we break bread together as brothers and sisters. We got a group in, Ni we got a group in Nairobi. Yes, we do. We have, we have, we have, we have a, a congregation all over the world. We got a congregation all over Africa. So where you meet? Is that a church, synagogue, yes, or yeah, what, what is it? So we can, they can call. So, Tell me the phone number. So Please. what is it? Flyer. Where you meet? Is it a we church, meet, a synagogue? We, we, meet in a, we meet in a small place. Yes. We read the scriptures. We, should, we, read about, uh, we break the law down. We read about the law. We give, we, we give the people the law, how they should live, what they should eat, what should not eat. We break the law. That's what uh, we, we, we teach them the law. And the you law do, how do you call that place? We can, you can call it church, you can call it school, you can call it congregation. Then why are you telling us we move out no, of church? No, 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 no. There's a difference now. Okay. There's a difference. You okay, your last one. You're talking about the Christian church. No, no, no. God never tells us to go to the Christian church. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Mm -hmm. God never. Those are religion. Okay. God did not give us religion. Let me read one more scripture for you before we go. Yes. Because you say, do we believe in Christ? Yes, we do. Our foundation is Jesus Christ. Give me Luke 1. Luke chapter 1 and verse... Because everybody want to know why, why Christ... Why, uh, uh, why Christ coming back? What's the purpose of Christ coming back? This is why Christ coming back. For. Verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The Lord God of who? Of Israel. The Lord God of Israel. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. He have had God visited and redeemed his people because Jesus, he sent Jesus Christ to die for us. We And have raised up in horn of salvation. The horn of us. salvation here, um, God raised up, is Jesus Christ. We And the house of his servant David. Of the house of his servant who? David. David. By the way, we believe in the black Jesus. Black Messiah, because he is black. We, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. All the prophets spoke about Jesus was coming to die for the nation of Israel, to die for us, to die for the Kenyan, the, the twelve tribe of Israel. We, which have been since the world began, since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. Why is Jesus Christ coming back for? That we should be saved from our enemies. Jesus Christ coming back <laughs> to save us from our enemies and from who? And from the hand of all. That okay, is. okay. Thank Jesus you, thank you, Deacon. Back. We are out of time. Maybe thank how you can uh, uh, thank you? Maybe thank how you, can our viewers and listeners get you? Maybe for more teachings. Well, we got 
Uh, I'm sorry, I gotta grab my glasses right quick. Okay. We have a phone number that I can give you guys. It's uh, from Nairobi, Kenya, it's 254 780 829 193. 254 780 829 193. From Mombasa, it's 245 780 829 193. 245 780 829 193. That's the same number. 829193. Well, you can call that number. The people, and um, we got brothers in Kenya that's going to give you the direction how to meet, where to fellowship. Okay. All right? Okay. We fellowship every Saturday from sun, I mean, every, uh, we keep the Sabbath from sundown, sun, uh, Friday to sundown Saturday. Every Saturday we get together, we fellowship together. Okay. Thank you, Deacon Malakai, Thank Captain so God, and yeah. Captain Enoch yeah. for sharing with us. Thank, Thank you. you so much, and I hope this is just the start yes, because there is yes. a lot to discuss. We want to understand more about the black Jesus. Yes. Maybe this we may change. Yes. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully. Na yes, yes, yes. is ya unikundi ya Israel United in Christ. Na inde na we wa munga mawo. Na ndo na we taka na mawo ni na wone ni wande. Ola we inde na wa kilungu ke uti munga mawo wa motongo TV, motongo FM kana weru television services. Inde ne wone ni na munga mawo wa ikundi ya Israel United in Christ. Na inde na Mwana nwa kwithi wa wata ambania na ito Tuwithi ya nengi Ndini wa motongo YFM Nika natu minu kilile kiliungu chaka Siuli angove Nye nita wa Robert Mutuko Tindanesa